Hey y'all, so today's video is basically my first day and basically how I'm going with my job at McDonald's. So let's get right into it. So I haven't been posting a video for like a long time. It's because I've been so busy and as you can see, I work at McDonald's. So yeah, but um, my first day at McDonald's, it was weird because like, so it was on a Monday. My dad told me that I was supposed to be working, like go to work on Monday. And I didn't know that because I, I didn't get a call. So I called them and they was like, can I make it on Tuesday? I was like, yeah, I can make it on Tuesday. Then I went there on Tuesday and I was like awkward. And I was like, I felt weird because going there and like, I don't know nobody at all. Like no one's my friend. I don't know nobody that works there or anything like that. And there's like so much and it's fast food and I'm slow myself. And I'm like, well, this is going to be an experience. And so, um... Oh, I actually went there and I seen the manager. The manager was like, sit there, like sit down and wait. And I'm like, okay, because first of all, I have no patience. And um, I expected it to be like that, but it wasn't like that. It was like, just, it was a lot. So I sat down and like, I guess I was waiting for like 30 minutes. And I started, I wanted to cry because it's like, I, like I wanted to be there and I wanted to be quick and fast. And it wasn't quick and fast. And I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, I was just, and I just felt embarrassed because, like, I wasn't, I didn't order nothing. I felt dumb. I'm waiting for, like, so many minutes and, like, no one's there. Like, like and everybody's blocking, like, the view so, like, the people can see that I'm still waiting and stuff like that. And I was like, I was just mad. And then when the manager finally came out and, like, took me and this girl, because I didn't know this other girl was um trying to, you know, was getting the you know uniform and stuff like that i didn't know she was there so i was a little bit a little bit like uh less i should say less uh scared i should say because it was somebody else and then um we went to the back of the mcdonald's i didn't even know how big it was well it was like i didn't know that there was more extra space like in the back if you know what i mean i didn't know that but i was weird because like as i'm walking i've slipped i'm like damn like <laughs> I slip and I'm like shoot like hopefully no one saw that because it was grease on the floor and I don't have no grease uh shoes whatever to call it so we went there she gave us the shirts we tried it on but I had a different I got another shirt on and it made the, um the shirt that she gave me look too small so she gave me an, another size and I fit that which is this and um so we sat down we was filling out a lot of papers at this point and I'm just like okay I just can't wait until like the time I start or like like you know like me and her to work out you know like because first wait wait first of all I don't mean and the girl that was there was going to start together and everything like that but that ain't happened so as soon as the we done filled up our filled out our papers the girl that, that was with me, she left, so I was there alone. I was literally a rookie, and she told me that I was going to start today. And I'm like, holy shit, is naive. I'm like, oh my god, like, my heart was pounding. Like, you could literally feel my heart being through my chest. Like, I'm like, damn, like, I'm nervous. I'm shaking this up. And I guess, and, oh, they put me in the window. I'm like, out of all things, the window. Like, where you get the money, or give, give or get the money for drive through. So they put me there and like the training, it was, uh, it was like, mm, like it was all over the place. And you know, I was nervous, I was shaking, I couldn't speak right, I had a whole accent, <laughs> my accent came out and everything like that. I was really nervous, you know what I'm saying? And like giving out the money, I didn't know nothing. Like I was messing up, I was messing up so much. They told me to take an order, I messed up on that order. I didn't know nothing on the menu. It was too much stuff on the menu. Like, I ain't no McDonald's had that much stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really a McDonald's fan. I stopped eating McDonald's like long ago. But right now I'm eating McDonald's because like, why not? I mean, I work there. <laughs> and um, I'm like, I don't know why my voice is rappy, raspy right now. Ugh, my voice is like really shaky right now because I just took my nebulizer treatment. But um, and um, hmm, what else? Well, yeah, I messed up on that. And then like, it was just so bad. Like, I just felt like I did so wrong. And then with the first the first girl who was chaining me, she was real nice. She was real nice. Yeah. I'm not going to say too much because I don't, I'm still working there, so I can't say too much. So the second day, it was even worse because, ooh, what happened the second day? 
I was literally a rookie and I, I was still a rookie. I didn't know what to do. They have a new, like, hello, how I, like, hi, how may I help you? Like, taking the orders at McDonald's. And I'm like, shit, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> taking McDonald's, I'm taking the orders and stuff like that. People were saying stuff that I never heard of. I'm like, what? Like, what do you say? What? Like, I'm saying what to them. I was supposed to say, can you repeat that? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I still had that little, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, like, I don't know ignorant side at work even though I'm supposed to be polite or whatever I'm getting like orders wrong from left to right I'm just embarrassed like that's embarrassing you know me as a person I like to get stuff like fast and I like to um know what I'm doing I know I just want to like pro type you know what I'm saying every time I you know start something new I just want to get it done you know fast stuff but you know me I'm just a little slow and so I'm doing the cashier and stuff like that I'm messing up and then they put me on they put me on the front row cashier like you know the front I'm in the front now, and I'm like, holy snickerdoodles. Like, I'm like, yo, like, I'm facing people now. I'm facing people now, and, like, I got to get it, like, done. But it was fun, to be honest. The front, the like, the front is really fun. Like, especially in the third time, I just love it. I don't know why. It's just the favorite, the favorite part of the day. And then, like, my third day, it was even worse because I don't know why. It's just, like, I got the menu right, but, like, it's, like, mm. But no, no, no. Let's go back on the first day. The first day, um, I also forgot because I came to work without my clocking number. And that was the worst part ever. Like, no, was it the first day? No, it was the second day. My fault. It was the second day. And I forgot my clocking number. And, like, I don't know. It was, like, I thought the manager was mean at first. But it's, like, when you're, like, busy and stuff like that, you just don't have time for all this, you know, commotion. So, like, the manager was, like, where's your clocking number? I was, like, I don't have it. She was, like... And I'm like, uh, the other manager, she said, well, she's not here. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, because please not, no, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do with this. And she's like, all right, sit down on your back. And I was like, oh, my God, like, I might get fired on the second day. That's embarrassing. She's really mean to me. I, 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 was like, I start crying in the back and everything like that. But then I texted my sister and I told her to like send me the clocking number and I got it and I went back up and like came to find out the manager's really nice, he's really cool. But it's that you just like, you know, like when people basically when you're like in a rush and hurry and you gotta get stuff and done, you've got time for all this, you know, nonsense and stuff like that. But anyway, day three I think I'm on day three. Yeah, day three I um did a back cashier. But like the front cashier, I mean, but like I was like I messed up so much because people want to add so much like damn They're like oh take out this add this da, da, da. oh i don't want this no more da, da, da. i'm like oh my god it's just like oh my god, my god, my god, my god. come on like i just hate sometimes i just hate like even putting the thing the, uh, the, uh, i can't even talk putting things on the menu because like i know people's gonna change their thing you know what i'm saying it's like weird it's, it's a lot. It really is a lot. But I enjoy doing the front cashier because I can really hear the people. And I could do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I so just, that's what you got to know. You don't, they don't play with the money. They don't play with the food. They don't play at all. Like, you got to, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be quick with it. So, I was like, all right. It's food, so. Yeah, so that's basically how I, like, done with this experience in my first day and third day. Basically, the whole week was trash, okay? I'm just so terrible. So I'm going to go to work today, and I'm actually taking a long shift. A long shift. Oh my god. Long shift. Hi, this is my, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, my birthday, and my birthday is in nine days, too. So I just, just wanted to go easy on me. Go easy on me this week, but go easy on this week. Cause I don't got time for this. I think they're gonna change. You tell me you love me, but I ain't been feeling it lately. You say you love keeping me fly, but can't keep me from looking so crazy. Coming as a